one of the key things that you need to master is drawing the circles. Randy Gage is as part of the book Making the First Circle Work. That is also one of our key foundational books is Making the First Circle Work. And Randy Gage says that we need to stay calm and draw the circles. So if you need a little trauma life or stress away or something, we can get you that. Um, but otherwise, we passed around Believe Oil. It's very important that you know how to draw the circles and show people how the money is made. It's also very important to draw the circles because it gives the reality check for people. And you'll see how in just a moment. The reality of life is many people take on a second job just to make ends meet. But if you really want in five years to have a business that will allow you opportunities or a very nice chunk in your portfolio or whatever your vision is, um, um, you, can, you can have this. But don't stick with a job that you hate just because it pays well. And um, maybe you have a job that you love, but you're barely making ends meet. So maybe Young Living can interweave with that. Um, so think about the different possibilities as you look at, uh, as we draw the circles now. The key thing about this business, again, people have the idea that they have to know thousands of people. That's not true. We gave you the example of two and what happens. Can you find two that love the product so much that they'll give recommendations just like you do? Just two, okay? But if you want to get really crazy, you can do five. So over the first year of business, do you think you can five, five, find five other people who want to recommend like you do? The possibilities are there. But what happens if you end up with three? Who cares, right? We saw how two works, but now let's look at five. Here's the key thing to this lesson. Don't leave these blanks. I want you to write down, if this is you, put your name right here, OK? And then you're going to put in real names. I always laughed at Gary Young because everybody's talking about drawing circles. And he says, they're not circles, they're people. <laughs> well, he's right. <laughs> you want to put your dream team down here. Who is your dream team? I had my best friends here. And they're all here. Well, no, some are on vacation. <laughs> but isn't that cool? You get to do this with your friends. That's what's cool about this business. But you want to put real names here. And then, so let's say this is, is Mary. Your job is to equip Mary with those 20 foundational lessons so she feels comfortable. Now, she's not going to learn them all in the next few days. You're going to start with one or two. And then maybe the first lesson, you might want to teach her how to invite somebody to a class. You don't just send an email, do you? Right? There's a little bit more to it. It's kind of like inviting somebody to a birthday party. You know, you want to do it that way. So that might be the first lesson. So you help Mary get her five people. Maybe she only gets one or two the first time. And that's okay. But in the first year of business, she might be able to find her five. Does that make sense? So out of all those thousands of people that we have, I still have the core people that I personally sponsored, and those are the people I personally coach. So it's not overwhelming. Where it gets overwhelming is when, you're try when somebody forgets to duplicate, and then you're having to do their job too. And that happens too, but you try and work with that leader so that they can duplicate as well. So you're only always working with five to 10 people. It's never overwhelming. These are your personally sponsored people, so those are going to be the ones you are responsible for. Then Mary's responsible for her people. And so you're going to help Mary be responsible. She has a responsibility as an enroller. Otherwise, she should just be a customer. Okay, that's her responsibility. So let's look at this potential then is let's just start with year one. This is year one of business. And it's also our front line, our level one. 
And this is all, I'm gonna be talking about unilevel, because unilevel is what's sustainable, sustainable for your business. Unilevel and generations. That will sustain your business. The fast start bonus, the rising star bonus, generation bonus, those are all bonuses. Those are awesome, but this is your sustainable piece. This is what's lasted for 16 years in our business. Now, it doesn't come out perfect fives. I use five because it's easy math. And I use 100 because it's easy to add two zeros. So it might end up with four and then, you know, six and then one. It can, but I'm just going to use five to show the example. So if, if we have our people here, five people in our organization, and let's say they all order $100, the OGV is 500. How much does Young Living pay on the first level? 8%. If I take 8% times 500, how much am I paid on Unilevel? $40. Now that's not very impressive, is it? So what I like to share with people is we need to think of our organizations just like the Great Wall of China. When the emperor began to have the vision for the Great Wall of China, and he put those first five stones down, was it very impressive? No. He had to close his eyes and see the wall for what it would become. That's what you need to do with your businesses. You need to close your eyes and see where your organization will go in five years. The first year, all we're worried about is five people. And we're going to get $40 unilevel. However, you might get a fast start bonus because everyone you enroll, you get 25%. So you might be making $50 per kit and all of those wonderful bonuses because Young Living knows you need a little working income until you build sustainability, right? So they do that. Now if we do our job right and we equip them with foundational skills, now each of them can have five, uh, find five people who love to recommend. And so now how, if there's 25 people how, and they each do a hundred dollar order, how much OGV is that, organizational volume? 2,500, and what does Young Living pay on the second level? 5%, and what does that equal? $125 per month, plus 40, so that's $165 per month is your income. Still not very impressive, so I'm gonna close my eyes and I'm gonna visualize what my organization can become in five years. Do most people quit right here? Yep, because remember that little two, 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 and they end up with 24? They don't understand the power of geometric progression. So we need to, talk, we need to teach them the four-year career the four-year career explains the business model of network marketing and the power of geometric progression. This is how we should be teaching our business classes. Teach right out of this book. So as we go along now, right here is where most people quit because it's not very impressive, but let's keep going now. Every day, every day, every day, we help these five, we're helping Mary help these people get five so that it duplicates. If I'm lazy and I'm not helping Mary remember to mentor, I might have taught her all the skills, but she forgets to mentor sometimes. That's our job to make sure she's mentoring the next. Okay? And we don't do that like, Mary, you need to go do that. No, it's like, oh, Mary, let's, let's do this together, and then you... She can learn on the first person, and then I bet she'll do it on the second and third. 
and it keeps going. So now those five get their five. Now we have 125 people. How much volume? 12,500. Young Living pays how much? 4%. And what does that equal? $500 plus 125 plus 40. So we have $665. Still not very impressive, but that's a portfolio option that's outpaying <coughs> interest earning uh, investments. This is where college kids, that's, I love your, your, what you're talking about, your sons, because this is what they need to know, that just growing that much alone do you know how big that portfolio can get if you're putting $500 a month in that? It's huge. So think about that. Now, as we go along, this is year one, this is year two, this is year three, this is year four. Now what do we have? 125 people, five. I didn't draw the circles, I just made squiggles. <laughs> How many squiggles is that? How many circles? 625? And the volume is 62,500 times what? 4% again. Now what do we get? 2,500. There's your silver. When you first get to silver, it's probably around eight to 900, but it can grow to that 2,500. It, you saw in that income disclosure, the average was what, 26 or something like that? And now year five, remember the five year plan? What does this come out to be? 3,125. Put a couple zeros after that, times what's it pay on the fifth level? 4%. Now what do we make per month? $12,500. Plus this, plus this, plus this. So that's up to 15000 per month. That was the average what? Go between gold and platinum, right? Is that worth putting in nine years conservatively? That's the five year plan and lots of people are hitting that. M believe it or not, there's several people in this room. They just started less than a year ago. They're probably on 10 months or 11 months. They're already here. They're on the third year and they're only eight months into the business. Oh yeah, you guys can smile. <laughs> There's some of you doing well. And just think now, you'll hit this by year three. Or who cares if it's year four? Dream house maybe? College tuition already saved up for the kids? Sponsoring an orphanage? What are the possibilities? This is why our visions, there's a how to get there. We can make it. Here's the biggest part of mentoring your business. You have to show people where they're at. Don't just leave them. So if I'm mentoring someone, and I'll say Sarah, if I'm mentoring Sarah and she's just starting in the business, She's all excited about the five people and then suddenly she has 25 people and she's only a few months into the business and then all of a sudden, oh man, now nobody's showing up at my last class, I'm kind of discouraged. And you're going, Sarah, you're already on year two of the business plan and you've just started your business. Is that motivating? Sometimes you have to see where you're at because the day-to-day -day grind, it's going nowhere. I remember teaching, you know, the fifth graders, you're going, man, they're just not getting it, just not getting it, just not getting it. <laughs> and then, whoa, all of a sudden the light bulbs come on. And so that's kind of what this is. You've got to use some measurement here so you see where you're at because that's very motivating. I want to see where I'm at.
So now Young Living will continue down. They, they'll pay you on generation pay. When you get to silver and gold, you get to add on like 2.5% and 3% to this. Isn't that awesome? If I put a raindrop around this person and let's say Dave, and this is both 4,000 and this is 4,000 volume, and now you have a thousand extra outside of those, you're now silver. So now, instead of 8%, you add two and a half percent to that. So it's really 10 and a half percent now you're getting paid. Isn't that awesome? And this continues down, those circles can keep going down. That's geometric progression. That's why this business is awesome. This is why it's now outperforming franchises as the going business. Do you see why now? But you gotta have a good product. Network marketing companies come and go and some of them, quite frankly, really suck. <laughs> you gotta have a product and that's the beautiful thing about Young Living, it's products I, I just know every time I open my mouth, somebody's gonna be helped. It's really rewarding. And so that's the beauty of drawing the circles. Because now, as Sarah progresses, maybe in the second year now, she's somewhere in here. I can show her, look where you're at. Oh, congratulations, you've already met your first goal to have your products paid for sustainably. And then the fast start bonuses are just extra. And then this is a huge portfolio piece, tell her that. Because some people say, well, I work a lot of hours for $500. Do you know what that $500 means? We want to really look at our vision. And remember the emperor and the Great Wall of China. We have to close our eyes and see our organizations for what they can become. That's a leader's job. Mm -hmm.